Hey guys, today is a review for uh, Life of Pets, The Secret Life of Pets. Um, <clears throat> I'm still doing this video from my phone and uploading it from my phone. So of course it's not really well done. I cannot uh, do the typical setting because it will take a longer time to upload it via the YouTube app. So I'm going to make this short. So yeah, uh, The Secret Life of Pets was actually one of the most... Uh, successful movies of 2016 up till now actually because I think it has made behind Zootopia and maybe uh, which was the other one Finding Dory it has been the most successful movie in animation this year and it was surprisingly done by Illumination Entertainment who are in charge also of uh, Minions and uh, Despicable Me and maybe some other uh, feature films that I haven't seen yet. Uh, I haven't seen... Well, I hadn't seen uh, The Secret Life of Pets and everyone was loving it. It has done more than $900 million worldwide. So, I think it... I, I mean, I had to see it to see what the thing was. My hair is a little bit crazy, sorry. Um, so, yeah, I, the story is really cute because it's about dogs and animals in general that are left um, at home. Uh, every single day and they wonder what their uh, owners are doing and they one day they decide to you know step out and you know, you know chaos ensues and they find out a lot of uh, different things of course everything starts because one of the dogs the protagonist dog um, has a new brother and he doesn't like his new brother his new brother is kind of a an idiot, <laughs> if lack of a w better word. I'm not saying any curse words because uh, this is a family movie, so maybe someone with a family will see it and they will be offended if I said something else. So yeah, he's not the best dog ever, and the other one is really, you know, he he doesn't feel good because he has always had his owner for himself, so he's like really not happy with that. So because of their fighting, they end up outside the apartment and they are caught by the um, dog pound and they discover, you know, this um, crazy rabbit and his friends and that crazy rabbit is like the leader against like of an association of animals that live in the sewers against humans. He wants, to, I mean, his voice is done by Kevin Hart, the bunny's uh, voice, and he's really funny because, I mean, it's the best um, voice because it's really characteristic and you know it's Kevin Hart, but you also think it's really funny that a bunny would have that voice. I mean, it's really, it's really cute and he, he has its his cute mo cute moments like when he poops because he's sca he's scared but also like he's really dark moments because he wants to kill humans i mean he wants to kill them actually kill them so it's really kind of weird but whatever and the whole movie is an adventure of them trying to um go back home of course uh some other uh, pets decide to look for the one that the two one the two dogs that disappeared and one of those dogs that's looking for the other one the protagonist story because I don't really I remember the names I'm not great with names and uh, yeah one of the dogs that, that's looking for the protagonist is a female dog it, and she's in love with him he has all she has always been in love with him and she lives like across the street to, in the apartment across the street so he's she's always like looking uh, what he's doing and he hadn't he has never really noticed her until he well basically she saves him and and that's really cute that's really I mean the animation is so well done it's really it's not very different from what you have seen maybe in Despicable Me actually because the the dog like the textures of the dogs really look like a mix between Monster Inc like Sully from Monster Inc and uh, what was the other one and maybe the dog from Despicable Me a little bit, not as ugly, but like the size and like the texture, I mean, it's really similar. And, you know, Illumination Entertainment is going up. I mean, it's not like DreamWorks, who are like trying to do things, but they are not always very successful. I think they, I think Trolls, Trolls right now is from DreamWorks, and it's doing pretty good. I mean, I don't know if it will be as good as uh, uh, The Secret Life of Pets or Finding Dory or maybe even Moana. I mean, Moana has just started counting, guys. So I think Moana is maybe going to be in the top three of um, most successful animated movie movies this year. I mean, b besides the Disney movie. 
and so were Zootopia and Finding Dory. I mean, Finding Dory is technically Pixar, but that's the same thing. And yeah, my uh, The Secret Life of Pets is really great because it's n the non-Disney movie that has made it beyond the, I mean, 900 million mark. I mean, that's really, really big. That's really outstanding. Of course, uh, Minions last year did more than a billion. So Illumination is on fire. I mean, it, they really are on fire. And I don't know what production company uh, da did that sync. Um, movie, animated movie, it's going to be released soon. I mean, I think there are a couple of teaser trailers or clips or something around. I haven't really seen them, but it looks really interesting and it's a musical. And to be honest, every single person in the like awards industry loves musicals. I mean, they really love awarding musicals. And if they are good, that's even better. That's why uh, this year many people are predicting La La Land from uh, Damien Chazelle to actually win a lot of Oscars and the Best, best Picture Oscar because, I mean, it's a musical and that's like the half of the win, let's say. And also because it stars uh, Emma Watson, Emma um, Stone, sorry, Emma Watson, Emma Stone and Ryan Reynolds, and of course everyone loves Emma Stone and Ryan Reynolds, Ryan Reynolds. That's not the name. I mean the other uh, the other guy that looks like Ryan Reynolds. How what's his name? I, I don't really remember. I don't really like that <laughs> that actor uh, either. Actually, it's not Ryan Reynolds. I'm really lost. Well. It doesn't matter because that's not the point of this movie. The point of this movie is that uh, animated movies have all been like up there, but they really need to pop the, like break the ceiling a little bit because not every because I still think that maybe people think that um, animated movies are only for children and my secret the secret light of, of pets it's really only for children to be honest mostly for our young audience it's perfect for children to watch in their house and yeah it has pets and many children have pets and it's kind of cute i mean it's really really a great movie for uh, kids to see with their parents but there are other movies animated movies that are certainly I mean, some of them are certainly not uh, for children, like Sausage Party. I haven't seen it yet, but they say it's pretty racy for animated movies. But of course, they have been really um, adult animated movies in the past. And of course, you have animated pornography. So that's another thing. And yeah, I mean, I, 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 I will say that Finding Dory is a little bit more sentimental and maybe more grown up but at the end of the day the message of both movies is really beautiful and well finding dory has more of a message than the secret life of pets to be honest the secret life of pets is the typical animated movie that just feels right and you're happy at the end and you don't really learn that much but it's kind of cute that's the typical animated movie i mean the deep animated movies like finding Do i mean like pixar in general pixar really uh, plays with our emotions because for example for example if you have seen the teaser trailer for cars 3 that's insane i mean it's really sentimental and really wow i mean you if you really love that character um lining McQueen, but I have never really enjoyed Cars. I only see the first one, the second one I have never really seen it. Uh, and it was cute, but I don't know. I mean, it's really shocking, the teaser trailer, but not for me that much because I don't really love that character. But for example, when I see Toy Story 3, that was really... Oh my god, when they almost died in that furnace, that was uh, awful. I mean, I really felt... Awful. So yeah, I mean, uh, The Secret Life of Pets is a really good movie, animation movie for children. Uh, as I said, it doesn't really have a big message or anything. The voices are okay. I mean, Kevin Hart is certainly uh, at the top of his game there. The animation is pretty typical for animated movies. It doesn't really bring anything new to the animation table, but it's pretty good uh, and nevertheless. And the length is certainly the best for children because it's like an hour and a half. So it's really, really short. It's not like other animated movies that are pretty long and that's awful for children in theaters and in the, uh, at home so yeah that's a gr really great movie to see with your children with your cousins with little ones in general so yeah uh, very recommended movie and yeah this is the review for today thank you so much for watching please subscribe comment share this video and everything else thank you so much bye